The Department of Poultry Science at Auburn University is just one of six poultry science departments that grant a BS degree in poultry science. We have a big responsibility of, of educating and doing the research that serves a very big industry. In the state of Alabama, uh, poultry is the number one agricultural commodity by far. The overall economic impact just in the state of Alabama is over $15 billion. An eighth of our GDP is related somehow to poultry. And so we try to represent every phase of, of what it takes to uh, produce poultry meat. As an extension specialist, what I do is I work, in this case, with different clients. I work primarily with the poultry industry because as you, I'm sure you've been told, poultry industry in Alabama, the broiler industry specifically, they produce over a billion chickens per year that I try to keep my research very practical and applied so that you know that the, either the farmer or the company could quickly integrate it into their operations. Food safety is first and foremost. Uh, we're doing a lot of that. Some of the things that we've used traditionally, antibiotics for example, are now uh, uh, being pulled out of diets that we feed our chickens. So we're looking at alternatives where we can maintain the health of, of our birds. Poultry producers use antibiotics because just like humans, any other animals, chickens are gonna get sick. And obviously if those birds get sick, you might not be able to process them as well uh, in order to produce meat from them. So you have to use antibiotics to fight the infections that the birds um, are going to have um, as you're rearing them for meat production. There's a number of different replacements for antibiotics in, in poultry feeds. Uh, a number of them have been used in Europe for some time. There's uh, essential oils that have the ability to control some of the intestinal parasites. Uh, oregano, and cinnamon, things like that that uh, when put in the diet can help control some of those both bacteria and protozoa. Right now um, in my lab we are doing research on several types of natural antimicrobials. Um, the first is an essential oil from white mustard. When I got here I had a new graduate student who started that year and he started doing work on just testing out what that essential oil did to salmonella uh, in vitro. We tested six different strains that are relevant to poultry and then he looked at how effective it was and we found that at concentrations of 0.5 percent it was able to inhibit the six strains of salmonella. My lab focuses on developing novel innovative technologies mm -hmm. to improve quality, increase shelf life, prevent food loss and improve food safety. Some of the technologies like the bioelectrical impedance mm -hmm. um, are used to detect the wooden breast myopathy. The wooden breast is a condition wherein there is a degradation of myofibers or myofibrils and there is infiltration of collagen in the tissue. So because of the infiltration of collagen in the tissue, you get very tough meat. These methods and the bioelectrical impedance method as well as a handheld method, it can be directly applied where we can remove the uh, woody breast from commerce and you will not have consumer complaints and economic losses that way. I work with uh, the poultry industry on nutrition and also just live production questions, the, the relationship between housing and health. Cage production versus cage free production is an interesting area to look at because consumers would like chickens to be on the floor so that they can move around. When you have chickens that are allowed to go outside, you lose some control of them. They may be predated, they're definitely exposed to the elements, they may eat something that they shouldn't be eating, like poison. The industry worked for a very long time to, to put hens in better and better housing where they could control the environment so that the birds were healthy and produced better. We're still learning on these cage-free systems. We have a consumer demand for a certain amount of eggs, so we, we have to produce the quantity of eggs and keep that production as efficient as possible in these, in these new cage-free systems. So we're learning a lot. Thank you.
Those are the big areas that we're working in. Food safety and quality, sustainability and efficiency of production systems, meat quality, and then poultry health, mm -hmm. that we're able to maintain good health of our birds uh, within these new systems and new approaches to uh, growing our chickens. Thank you.